call it as gift of Christmas because of the main reasons we have the custom of giving and receiving gifts at Christmas. It is a time to love. Christmas is to remind us of the presence given to Jesus by the wise men. Frankincense, gold and myrrh. Gold as a symbol of kingship on earth. Frankincense and incense as a symbol of deity, God. Myrrh and embleming oil as a symbol of suffering and death. Christmas is a time to love. Christmas is celebrated to remember the birth of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, on 25th December every year. Christmas festival is a time when family, friends and relatives come together and celebrate with full of joy and happiness. Children are mostly excited due to the gifts they receive from Santa Claus. So, it is a time to love. Christmas is a time to love. Stars. Why we put stars during Christmas time to bring light to this world? Let us see why we put stars during Christmas. Christmas is the birthday of is the birthday of Jesus Christ. When Jesus was born, a bright star appeared in the sky. Some learning wise men in far away countries saw the star and knew what it meant. They followed the star and reached Jerusalem, the capital of Judea. Come let's see the story of Jesus Christ to go about the star. Bondi, Ifu Bodhi, Prabhu Jisu Jammodi, Dewasiri, Ekmatro, Ishara Adorni or Honman Jonai Sukido Ere Ami A Borodin or Orto A Borodine Amak Anondo J Borodine Amar Antorot Prem Jogai Aru Borodine Amaloi Hanti Korea Korhiai Ani A Hose Bordi O Poriale Hote, Bondu Borgo Hote Amar Suburi Hote Ami A Porbo Ujapon Kori Hokore Anondito Ami Hokore Rubur Mohima Edore Prosai Guru Dhanyabad This is the story of how Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, was born. The story begins in the place of Nazareth. Nazareth was a quiet, sleepy little town where most peoples were farmers and shepherds. In this town, there lived a young Jewish woman named Mary. She was a very obedient and God-fearing woman. Mary was going to get married soon to a good and honest man named Joseph. A few days before Mary's engagement, she had a visitor. He was a very special guest, an angel sent by God from heaven. The holy angel Gabriel visited her and called her in her sleep. When Mary opened her eyes, she was shocked to see angel named Gabriel. At first, she thought she was dreaming. But when she heard the angel's voice, he said, Mary, do not be afraid 
I am Gabriel. God has sent me. He loves you. And you have been chosen for something very special. Then Mary said, I am honored to know that God has chosen me. Gabriel said, I have come to tell you that you will have a son who will be a great king one day and he will be loved by everyone. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, But how is this possible? I am not yet married. Gabriel, do not be afraid, Mary. The Spirit of the Lord will take over you and you will be blessed with a son. He will be called the Son of God. He will do great things to the people. He will be held as the King of Jesus and the Savior of as the King of Jesus and the Savior of mankind. Mary, I am grateful for whatever God has done for me. I am happy to have his wish come true through me. Gabriel, the Lord is with you. Mary, you are blessed. Go in peace. Then Gabriel left the place. Leave everything to Joseph. Joseph was a good man and he was a carpenter. He accepted everything. But after death, Joseph decided to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord, Gabriel, appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. For everything is by the Holy Spirit that Mary will have a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sin. Whatever the Lord has said to the prophet will come true. A virgin will become a mother and have a son and he will be called Emmanuel which means God is with us. Gabriel went to So when Joseph woke up, he married Mary as the angel of the Lord had told him. The king of the Lord announced the census. He wanted every citizen of his country to be counted and documented. Since Joseph was actually from Bethlehem, he had to go there to be counted. Bethlehem was a long way from Nazareth. Joseph and Mary had a long and difficult journey ahead to Bethlehem. The whole journey had to be made by foot. Mary sat on a donkey and Joseph walked behind them. After many, many days of walking to the desert, Joseph and Mary finally reached Bethlehem. It was very dark, cold night when they reached the town. They did need a place to spend the night, but all the inns were full and nobody would give them space to spend the night. They were knocking at the doors one after another, but nobody was allowing them to come in. But after some time, an innkeeper allowed them to come in and say that he had an empty bird which was made for his cows and there are plenty of hay and straw there where Mary gave birth to a baby boy Joseph 
made a bed out of straw and hay in the manger and kept the baby. At that time, there were some shepherds in that part of the country. They were spending the night in the field, taking care of their flocks, sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared. They were afraid, but angel Gabriel said to them, Do not be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven angels appeared. Singing praise to the Lord. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those who whom with He is pleased. The angel left to me. Shepherd says, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what has happened, which the Lord had told us. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem in Judea. Afterwards, three wise men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and they came to know that a star had appeared in the sky to tell where Jesus was born. And on their way, they saw the same star they had seen in the east. When they saw it, how happy they were, what joy was theirs. It went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was born. They went and when they saw the child with his mother Mary, they knelt down and worshipped him. They brought out their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh and presented them to him. the symbolic use of evergreens in ancient Egypt just as people today decorate their homes during the festive season with pine, spruce and fir trees. The tradition came before Germany where King George Ill's wife was born. It was thought that his German wife Charlotte used to decorate a Christmas tree with her family during the 1760s. Christmas tree, it is a sign of everlasting life with God. Dashing through 
Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. We celebrate Christmas with Santa Claus and his gift. Christmas Father. Why we see Christmas Father, whom we always call Santa Claus during the time of Christmas. Let us listen. His name, Saint Nicholas, was a bishop who lived in the 4th century in the place called Myra in Asia Minor, now called Turkey. He was a very rich man. He wanted to do something special for the children around him who were well-mannered and helped others. He also gave away all his inherited wealth and traveled the countryside helping the poor and sick. Saint Nicholas loved to surprise people by giving them gifts. Every Christmas, he would secretly drop gifts in the homes of children. We have seen the story of Christmas, the birth of Lord Jesus. Christmas is a time to love. Christmas is a time to be happy, a time to have happiness in our hearts. Let us call the love and peace of God in our hearts. Let us clean our hearts and celebrate Christmas. Let us make everyone happy and glorious.